Non-duality and the Japanese Tea Ceremony The Japanese Tea Ceremony and the concept of non-duality share a deep connection, as both emphasize the inseparability and oneness of all things. The Tea Ceremony, known as Chanoyu or Sado, is a highly ritualized practice. Centered around the preparation and presentation of powdered green tea, called matcha. While it may appear to be a simple act, the tea ceremony embodies profound philosophical and spiritual principles, reflecting elements of non-duality. The tea ceremony has a long and rich history that dates back several centuries. With its origins in the 9th century when tea was introduced to Japan from China. However, it was during the Muromachi period, 1336 to 1573, that the tea ceremony began to take shape as a distinct cultural practice. The development of the tea ceremony was greatly influenced by Zen Buddhism and its emphasis on mindfulness and simplicity. Zen Buddhist monks, particularly the monk Murata Shuko (1422–1502), played a significant role in shaping the spiritual and meditative aspects of tea drinking. In Japanese cultural history, he is credited as being the founder of the Japanese tea ceremony. Shuko believed that a simple act like making and serving tea could be a means of attaining enlightenment. Another influential figure was Sen no Rikyu, 1522-1591, a tea master who refined and popularized the tea ceremony. Rikyu emphasized the principles of wabi-sabi. Valuing simplicity, finding beauty in imperfection, and focusing on harmony, mindfulness, respect, and humility in the tea ceremony. During the Izuchi Momoyama period, 1568 to 1600. Distinct schools or traditions within the tea ceremony were established, contributing to its preservation and evolution. The Edo period, 1603 to 1868, saw the tea ceremony becoming more accessible to different social classes and becoming intertwined with the samurai class and their codes of conduct. Tea houses were built, and elaborate tea rooms and gardens were designed to create a serene and harmonious environment for the tea ceremony. The design of the tea house reflects the principles of simplicity, harmony, and tranquility. The tea house, also known as Sheshitsu or Sukiya, features a simple and unassuming architectural style. Using natural materials such as wood, bamboo, and paper. The entrance to the tea house is deliberately small and low, requiring guests to bow or stoop before entering, symbolizing humility and respect. Imperfections in the tea utensils and the tea room layout evoke the concept of wabi-sabi. Appreciating the beauty of imperfection and transience. These design elements create an environment that encourages mindfulness, respect, and contemplation during the tea ceremony. Approaching the tea house is often done via a winding path known as the Roji or Chato Niwa, which serves multiple purposes. The path acts as a transitional space, allowing participants to mentally prepare themselves for the tea ceremony and enter a state of mindfulness and presence. Symbolically, the path represents a journey or pilgrimage, encouraging guests to appreciate the tranquility and connection with nature. By mindfully navigating the path, guests let go of distractions, fostering a sense of humility and equality among all involved. And building anticipation for the tea ceremony experience. The Japanese tea ceremony can be linked to the concept of non-duality through several key aspects. Firstly, 
The tea ceremony cultivates mindfulness and presence, with guests fully immersing themselves in the moment and experiencing unity with their actions. Secondly, the ceremony emphasizes harmony and connection. Recognizing the interdependence of all things and fostering a sense of unity with nature. Thirdly, the tea ceremony aims to transcend dualities by appreciating the beauty and significance in simplicity, thus reflecting the non-dual nature of reality. Finally, the direct experience of the tea ceremony bypasses conceptual thinking, allowing guests to enter a state of pure perception that aligns with the non-dualistic view of reality as immediate and experiential. While the Japanese tea ceremony itself is not explicitly about non-duality, its underlying principles and practices often resonate with the non-dual perspective. By immersing oneself in the ceremony, individuals can cultivate an experiential understanding of the interconnectedness and unity that non-duality seeks to convey. To further explore and incorporate non-dualistic principles into daily life, individuals can develop their own ceremonies within everyday activities. This practice can be both creative and personal, allowing for a deeper engagement with non-dualistic concepts. Here are some suggestions on how to infuse non-duality into personal ceremonies. Cultivate mindfulness. Select a specific everyday activity, such as washing dishes, taking a shower, or preparing and or eating a meal, and approach it with mindfulness. Engage in the activity with full attention and awareness, letting go of distractions and immersing yourself in the present moment. Recognize the interconnectedness of each action and the unity between yourself and the task at hand. Ritualize the ordinary. Transform an ordinary activity into a ritual or ceremony. Create a morning ritual, for example, where you express gratitude for the new day. Set intentions for the day ahead, or engage in a brief meditation. Infuse intention, mindfulness, and a sense of sacredness into everyday actions. Reminding yourself of the non-dual nature of existence. Connect with nature. Design ceremonies that celebrate and honor the natural world. Take regular nature walks, dedicate time to observe and appreciate natural elements such as plants, animals, or the changing seasons. By connecting with nature and recognizing your inherent interconnectedness with it, you can deepen your understanding of non-duality. Ritualize relationships. Relationships offer a fertile ground for exploring non-duality. Create ceremonies or rituals that celebrate your connections with loved ones, friends, or colleagues. Share a meal together, engage in meaningful conversations, or express gratitude for their presence in your life. Recognize the interdependence and communion that exist in these relationships. Gratitude Ceremonies Develop a gratitude practice where you consciously acknowledge and express thankfulness for the blessings, opportunities, and experiences in your life. Journaling, creating gratitude altars, or sharing your thankfulness with others are ways to cultivate appreciation. By focusing on gratitude, you shift your attention from separation to unity. Recognizing the interconnectedness of all that you are grateful for. Remember, the essence of creating your own ceremonies is to infuse them with intention, mindfulness, and a sense of unity. 
By incorporating non-dualistic principles into everyday activities, you invite a deeper understanding and experience of the connection and oneness that underlies all aspects of life. While the tea ceremony is a profound example of incorporating non-duality into a cultural tradition, it serves as an inspiration to explore and create ceremonies that resonate with individual beliefs and practices. These personal ceremonies can be a source of growth, connection, and a reminder of the inherent unity in all things. Thanks for watching.